Live from ABC7, this is Eyewitness News in High Definition. Every 30 seconds, someone has a sudden cardiac arrest. It's when the heart short circuits and it's difficult to survive. But an automated external defibrillator can make all the difference. Health specialist Denise Dador is here to explain. Denise. Well, you know, Mark and Michelle, the odds of surviving this type of heart attack are about 5%. But thanks to the placement of automated external defibrillators in public places, the chances of survival are on the rise. People need to be aware where these AEDs are because as one local man will tell us, it can happen to anyone at any time. How are you? Good. Good to see you. It really is good to see 37-year-old John Aharoni because by all accounts, he should be dead. Three years ago, I was as fit as I've ever been in my life. This professional athlete was playing volleyball on a beach in Santa Monica. And I looked over and I said, I don't feel very well. And I planted myself face first into the ground with my eyes wide open. Um, my heart had stopped and uh, I died. Sudden cardiac arrest. His friends tried CPR, but his heart had stopped beating for 10 minutes. That's when paramedics arrived and used an automated external defibrillator to shock his heart back to life. When people have these electrical short circuits, the thing that most impacts their survival is how quickly you can shock their heart back to normal. A new study in the New England Journal of Medicine finds having defibrillators available in public places can improve survival significantly. Connect electrodes. In the study, the authors looked at 13,000 cases of sudden cardiac arrest. 9,500 of them happened at home. But the survival rate was 34% when the AED was used in a public setting compared to 12% at home. What happens is many patients are alone at home, and if they have cardiac arrest, there's no one to put the device on them. Electrophysiologist Dr. Chef Aldoshi with St. John's Health Center says many people don't even know these devices are available. One impediment to this is we can put the device there, but until we educate the public, it doesn't do us a lot of good. For John, the most wonderful thing about surviving sudden cardiac arrest is his nine-month-old daughter, Jamie. I love, love, love this idea, and I hope people um, can really grab onto it and learn how to use them. And Dr. Doshi says published data reveals your best chance for surviving a sudden cardiac arrest is in a Las Vegas casino. The reasons? Security cameras can spot when someone collapses, plus casinos have numerous AED devices and available and most of the staff is trained. So I guess if you're going to have one, <laughs> better have one there. That's really interesting. <laughs> yeah. Have fun at the same time, right? <laughs> All right, Denise.